Well, the police, or I should say the sheriffs, have just cleared the area, but the people who run this in and out uh, burger have kept it off limits to everybody. It was quite an ordeal. Uh, they looked, they searched, they knew the suspect was in there. They also knew that he was unarmed. At least they were about 95% certain that he was unarmed. And then the dogs they had were just too big to get in the crawl spaces where they thought he might be. Then they called in Deke. It started just before 3 in the morning. Detectives say a man, unarmed, broke into this In-N-Out burger stand on Lower Azusa in the city of Temple City, and for 12 hours, they couldn't find him. We knew the guy was in there. And they looked, and they looked. SWAT team, gas, dogs, big scent dogs, and then this was a job for Deke. That's Deke, the small dog, the only dog that could fit into the crawl space where he eventually found the suspect. Heidi. How many times have you had to use a dog that size? Well, I've been deployed on nothing like this over for a suspect of this time because he's a search and rescue dog. Never used like this. The first time for Deke, and he came through with flying colors. Normally, a search and rescue dog. Detectives said if the suspect is hiding in that crawl space, which is just below the In and Out Burger sign, the only way to get him would be with a small dog. That's why Deke was brought in. And what did Deke do? When he spotted the man? Did the dog bite him? No. It's just what a dog does. When it finds somebody, it'll sit down and start barking. So we pull the dog out, and a deputy goes in there, and then we make contact with him, and then the guy peacefully surrendered. According to some business owners, the suspect is a homeless man who is known to frequent the area and cause some problems. But detectives will not confirm that, saying only that it was a man who was small enough to fit in a crawl space, ignored all of the requests to surrender, would not respond at all, the gas didn't affect him, and then Deke came in and found him. That awning you're looking at, that red awning on the top right underneath the in and out burger sign, right on that corner, I am told, that is where the suspect was hiding. Now, they had an idea through process of elimination that he had to be in one of those crawl spaces. They tried to bring in the bigger dog, as I mentioned, and it was just, the dog was just too big. And so then they brought in Deke, and as I mentioned, Deke came through. Suspect in custody, and don't know when the burger stand will reopen. Reporting live from Temple City, I'm Dave Lopez, Kick on 9 News. All right.